We'll Absolutely. just give a quick Mark shout out to Jason Wynn for saving my engineer's ass and finding his phone. Thank and, you, Jason. And, 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 and all the thanks to Jason for getting us out to the Dan Jam. Yeah. Uh, we're fresh off that, guys. We uh, hope you guys get a lot of that content. Um, the, good party. This, it was a good party. And the second the second day, the weather torpedoed us because we were, we were lining up to get um, – uh, Giovanni and the hired guns and uh, William Clark Green and William said Clark he Green was, they were all going to come and then as soon as that storm hit they made them all go back I, I went to ask and they all went as soon as the yeah. storm hit they all went back to their hotels they I weren't coming sure back out there it. so uh, it could have been be- we could have got a co- couple more cooler interviews but next year hopefully if we're involved again it's going to be a blast hopefully we can like set them up ahead of time you know what I mean like, well yeah I, I, when I talked to CJ she's even, she's even talking about moving us closer to the uh VIP, like right outside that VIP area too. Yeah. So inside the air conditioned bar, that's yeah. what I want to do. <laughs> they, yeah, they had this. That's, that's the dream. That's yeah. 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 Well, the TP ain't fitting in there. <laughs> we'll air condition the TP, dude. They, well, we'll just get close enough where they can use that same HVAC. System. Yeah. So they had this. Gi- they had this giant, um, probably uh, foot around or two foot around corrugated HVAC system blowing into a bar and an, and the room and like the yeah. green room where the. Uh, where the artists were eating, so those rooms were like pretty chilly. And, and, out there. and, 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 yeah. and it, was, it was a local company, Cars Heating and Air. Is, oh, is Shout it, out if you ever need a podcast to yeah, if you ever want to fucking to sponsor. promote your shit, all we need is AC and <laughs> yeah. we're good. Yeah. yeah, we're good. I mean, it would, I mean, yeah. we'd be close enough that we could maybe make that happen with the TV. That'd Let's be fucking roll. cool. To Let's set up. do it. All right, but uh, the we want ITP. We got to give a special thanks to the Rusty Nail, Genies, <laughs> Odell's, Boss Man for coming out and donating stuff oh, while yeah. he was there. PK Pest Management, Michael, thank you for helping us get the lodge out there. Um, and kill flies. Yeah, and kill great. flies. Yeah, and if I mean, if I would have got to drive around more, I would have sold way more of that shit. But, um, we want to thank the da- uh, our crew, everybody that was on our crew that helped us out. Um, um, the damn jam, uh, all those staff and employees there were absolutely fabulous. So, and Jason Wynn, uh, again, but, but, we, we appreciate but, 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 you. Who gave us the Cushman? Because oh yeah, that was, oh, that was super oh, and, helpful. Uh, Zach Rao, my buddy Zach Rao. Yeah, that appreciate was super you, helpful. Appreciate you, Zach. That was. Um, uh, even though we kept overheating that motherfucker because we drove too much, it was like the. <laughs> it's like this old Cushman looked like Doctor Nefario from uh, from Despicable uh, Me. Yeah, yeah little, it was great. He gave us his sweet little carton. It's actually perfect because we could hang the rusty nails banner on it and the fucking uh, banner for us. So we were driving around everywhere. Our two big asses couldn't barely fit <laughs> yeah. inside of it. Yeah, I know. So it was really funny looking. I think <laughs> I, I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, we had oddities out there. We had our crazy little carton, our giant fucking. Yeah, TV. it was pretty awesome. Yeah, so it was a good time. And shout out to all the artists that did our show. And like I said, go check out all those shows. So all our normal, all our normal sponsors: Sacred Leaf and Kirby's Party Rockers, Odell's, and Wichita by EB. We appreciate you guys. So let's roll to that graphic and get into the show. Speaking of Wichita by EB, man, he had his third installment of that uh, like dinner party kind of thing he's doing. Okay, explain that a little bit. What are you talking about? Like, um, so, so this one was that uh, like local flavor, and the chef or whatever just kind of makes up like a, a menu, a menu for this like dinner party deal. That sounds amazing. And uh, you buy tickets, buy tickets to it. Like uh, Lynn Avans, DJ Carbon. Yeah, there's a uh, bunch of people they, there. They're I all saw, there. I saw a little, bunch about it. I'm always down for a little bougie dinner. Man, I'm, I'm saying we do it. Dude, we say we do the next one for sure. Oh, yeah, I bet. Let's do it. I'm in. Well, Alex, Leanne, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Thanks for stopping in. So how are you doing today? I'm doing good. And we even got Boo with us. And Boo. Hello. We yeah. got Alex and Boo, you know? Yeah, yeah boo. of course. How's it going, sweetie? <laughs> We've had a lazy day. <laughs> so do you? when you travel, you, you, you travel with her, of course? Yes, yeah. She's a service animal. She's with me all the time, 24-7. She was on the Exotica floor. Um, she was meeting awesome. porn stars. That she's she's been everywhere. That's the one popular dog. This she's cooler than go. me. <laughs> I'm just the girl with the dog. <laughs> well, that works out pretty good. Do you get it? Does she get to come into the cabin with you? Like, or she, they don't put her in like a weird crate in the basement of the? No, plane, she she rides for fleet for free. She's a service animal. Oh, she goes nice. everywhere. Yeah. Awesome. So you like claim her as a like a support animal? Um, hmm. I say that she's a psychiatric support dog. So service animals they can be self trained. There's no actual paperwork or certifications like. Nice. You can't say that she's not. Yeah, right? Yeah. And they, and they can't even ask you. No, well, I mean, they can ask, um, is she a service animal and what service does she provide? That's it. Right. So, yeah. I mean, if she's calming me and I'm already feeling better, better about it since she's been it, here. Exactly. She services everybody, honestly. <laughs> and I love how she just finds her light. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I got this. Yeah. She's she been around this shit before. Yeah. 
All right. So give us a first and foremost, give us a little bit of your background before we get into the Miami trip. Like how I remember meeting you the first time I met you, you, you were bartending at uh stadium. stadium. The stadium, yeah. the new stadium. I yeah. miss those days. Yeah, uh, and you you had a you were dating a guy that had the same name as me, a little short guy. A stripper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he was, oh, he yeah. was a stripper? Yeah, that was. Was, that was the male stripper. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, cool. I'm um, sure he's better at it than I was. That's for sure. <laughs> well, um, yeah. I, so I used to, I'm a licensed hairstylist. I maintain my license. I don't work. Um, I found my passion doing hair with the elderly. I worked in a couple of different nursing homes, and that's what I really enjoyed doing. But I'm also not going to not be who I am and be who I want to be. So I got tattoos and piercings and i'm just not the kind of girl they hire anymore and that's okay did they come out and say that um, a little bit no they just didn't renew my contract after uh, i'd worked there for a year and started getting all the tattoos and piercings and stuff oh really? that's whack but whatever yeah I, they paid for them i don't know why they <laughs> freaking out I you know mean, what i mean well, and it's not <laughs> even like it's not even like the old people it was like the their their staff yeah because yeah. oh, really? like it's a it was a high-end high scale place but um, after that, I started bartending and stuff, and I bartended for a while. And um, I always like modeled and did photo shoots and stuff as like a hobby. And um, for a couple of years, I modeled with Harley Davidson and was in their calendar. Actually, got kicked out of Harley for. Um, how do you how do you get in with Harley Davidson? Did they just there's, there's call a, you? There's or? a competition. There's like so. Um, there's a like runway competition every year where there's like outfit changes and all this stuff and all the girls go up and parade in front of everyone and then they vote you in. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, but I uh, tattered their brand with my um, my sex work, so they removed me after like the second year. Really? So they're, they're, they're good enough for you to, they'll let you yeah, I almost can, be I naked. Can, I can sell my yeah, body for right. them, but not for me, you know? Oh, <laughs> come on with that. I was going to yeah. say, I thought Girls and Harleys was the fucking well, brand. I, yeah, I thought, I thought Naked Free Women and Harley yeah, was, Yeah, I know? thought that that was like... Exactly. Whatever. Shame on Harley for that. That's yeah, a, that's what I'm saying. That's a black eye. If a girl and they well, like, what? So what if you were like a stripper? Would they be pissed off about that too? Right. I don't know. Yeah. But like, fuck. I mean, that seems like we're splitting like, hairs. Here. Well, have you ever seen the calendar? I mean, come on. It's like the I same mean, not, fucking thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, everything but. I mean, it's right there. But, I mean, so I did. I did lingerie and photo shoots and stuff as like a hobby. And then one day, I had a guy. Shout out to Cole if you're listening. Um, hit me up and was just like sent me money, sent me $50. He's like, I really think you're beautiful. Like, I want to respect you. And like, I don't want to offend you in any way, but like, would you be interested in like selling some nudes? And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Was OnlyFans a thing yet? or someone, No, no, you know? this was, this is pre OnlyFans. Nice. Um, so we'll so just I, say you invented it. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. No, I was at the start of the wave there. So, I mean, I did like, the premium Snapchat thing and like um, oh, sold bet, bet. sold like individually for a while and then when did that get a little creepy? Um, no, I okay. mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> overall, <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, just another day in the life. I know, but it had to get. I mean, when you're dealing with, like it's nice when you can put a little separate distance maybe between the guy a little bit. Well, see, and that's what I like about it is it is all online. Like it's not real life yeah. to me like man you'd be I, surprised I don't, this motherfucker's thinking I don't, it's real life <laughs> I don't think about the other side I wouldn't don't waste your time doing it you guys, <laughs> I, I have a pretty yeah. good a pretty good idea of what it looks like and <laughs> I, I love I love them so much and we love a pervert you know like yeah, for keeping sure. food on the yeah. table you feeding a little boo boo here yeah we're all perverts <laughs> though I mean believe it or not so yeah no exactly so a guy hit you up and said he Give me some nudes and I'll so, give you some. So uh, that's, what, that's what started, yeah. And so then I just kind of started selling individually. And then COVID hit and um, I was out of a job. Bartending was shut down. Yeah. The world was shut down. And I was only working part time as a bartender. So I didn't even qualify for unemployment. Like they oh, were just bummer. like, sorry. Fuck off. I was like, damn. So um, that's when yeah. I heard about OnlyFans. And when I first started, Everybody had just gotten their uh, stimulus checks, and they were mm -hmm. stuck at home by themselves with all this extra money. So ah, I did. Perfect I did very. I did very well um, starting out because, like, I'm very open. I have amazing, supportive family. Um, my parents are fully aware of everything that I do, and they love and support me. I mean, you me. have to be that way. They just they want me to be happy. Yeah, you know, like how as, would you fucking as hide a parent, that? As a parent, how are you going to like disown your child for living the life yeah. that they're living? You know, and on your end, lucky in that. And on your end, it's you're not it, I, on your end as the kid being open to your parents. 
uh, facilitates them being open. You know, if you hide yes. it from them and they find it like cr- a bunch of, oh my God, yeah. you've been doing this forever and not said anything to us, you know? Yeah. It's so, kind of, it's, it, you, did the, you did it the good way too, making sure they knew about it. And so. Um, so that's, I got really big because I was posting on all of my personal medias. Like, I am my own persona. Right. Like, my poor name is Alex Boo. I'm Alex. Um, people have these names and live these different lives. And I know so many porn stars whose families like don't even know. And I just, that I went like about a hard it. Life to live I like went that. about it the opposite way. And like, so I got really big locally and I was my first month I made $7,000. It was crazy. You're like, fuck oh, this yeah. bartending shit. Well, I mean, it was COVID <laughs> anyway. So I was just yeah. stacking. And then, once COVID did lift, I went back to bartending for like a year. I was working at the Rusty Nail, actually. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I oh, loved yeah. it. It was a great job, um, great place. But it got to the point where I was making so much money that sitting at the bar just gave me anxiety. I'm like, I don't have to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't drink alcohol. Mm. I don't drink. So, like, the bar scene just not for me. And yeah. It, I mean, it was great extra money. It was nice networking money. Yeah, for you. Yeah, it was great extra money. And I love the people. I love the scene. But, like... <sighs> It's so nice to not. I'm I'm my own boss. I wake up and fall asleep whenever I want. If I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. Great. it's so yeah. great. And, it's great. And dealing with drunk sober is just like horrible. It really yeah, by is. the end of the night. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. That's me three day, third day at DM Jam where That's I wasn't drinking that much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for. Uh, I mean that's that's nice to be able to just ditch the ditch the bartending job and roll off and do your own thing. Yeah, so once once I started doing that, I really worked more on my content and posting and um I started on Twitter and I've gotten really big on Twitter. I've got 20,000 followers on Twitter now. And um through Twitter and they have this thing called Spaces, which are like these like live group chats you can join. Hmm. I've met all of these porn stars from all over the country, like successful industry people, and I've gotten opportunities and that's how I and got advice, into I'm sure and stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah no, it's yeah. awesome. That's how I've gotten into the mainstream side of things is Twitter. Um, no. That's how I meet and, all and my connections. Until ICT Fest, until that. some young kids yeah. had told us, I didn't even know por- porn on Twitter was like a big deal. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <Tons> <laughs> if y'all no haven't been to porn Twitter, like you got to check my website out. The link's going to be in the comments, but like go to my porn Twitter. It's wild. You're going to see some things. That's well, all I didn't saying. realize I didn't realize Twitter was <laughs> just like the a wild fucking, west. Dude, it was you a, can it's post a fucking whatever free for all, bro. You can post whatever you want I, up on the Twitter. I didn't realize that when I first made my Twitter, it was like, it was like, choked it was like uh, governed it didn't have all the porn well, I mean, on it. I don't and i changed the settings the and i was settings? like holy shit <laughs> it was like butthole and here we are i was like damn i was like this is, this is a little crazier yeah, than i thought I, I, so, I love it when people go to my twitter and they message me and they're like bro you're just sucking mad dick on twitter i'm like yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's how i got twenty thousand followers yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why they love me yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's great to be able to just like go balls to the walls. People always ask me like, "Why are you successful? How do you get a following?" I'm like, "Cause I'm crazy. Like I just like I'm out there. Like if you're gonna do it, you got it. You gotta do it. Right, right. <laughs> go all the, in. The market is so saturated at this point. If you're not creating content on a constant basis, if you're not marketing yourself, if you're not putting yourself out there, like nobody's gonna see you. Right. These aren't like pages that you can just scroll across like you have to look it up so well, that's what my, that was my uh, next question i was going to ask how do you do they base it off how many like so us if we we'd have to get you know a million views for us to make any money off our content is all your content just based on subscription buys or um, how's that how's that so, all work so i'm on Pornhub and i'll post like one to three minute clips on there and stuff um, and so Pornhub, you get like 18 cents for every thousand views. So there oh, is wow. a little so coming not, in, but it's not be- much, but it's a great advertisement. It's a great place for people to happen to find you. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's like or, probably mostly promotional. At yeah, that point. or like I'll get on um, Chatterbait. Chatterbait, um, they take 50% of everything that you make. And so I'll get on there and I'll just be hot and cute and naked and like people will find me and go to my account and like everything just kind of like streams into your paid accounts. Um, you can like see the previews for free. Like, sure, you can see some really vulgar, crazy stuff on my social medias. But if you want the twenty-minute video, you're gonna pay for it. You know, that makes right, sense. Right. That yeah. makes sense. And like my OnlyFans, I've had it for f- four or five years now. There's over three thousand posts on there. Like, the best value for twenty dollars, you can see everything you could ever want. So that's is that what it's like twenty dollars a month or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I do a twenty dollars subscription on like my fans, Lee and OnlyFans. Um, God, I have a loyal fans. I've got Chatterbait. We've got Pornhub. I've got mini vids. Um, I do a private Telegram channel. 
Do you have a social media guy or a person that helps you upload your videos all to this, or do you do all this yourself? No, that's that's me. That's that's the hard part. Everybody's right. like, "What is your job like?" And I'm like, I film content maybe once a month, but the rest of the month is He's just posting that shit. It's social media. I have so many social medias. I have so many things to edit and post and like the tag and shit. That shit yeah. takes yeah. fucking forever. Yeah, People that's, don't realize how that's how what's exhausting tedious. That and then is. like the messaging, like I get seven million messages a day, and I have to waste my time oh my six God. million nine hundred ninety nine times. <laughs> A day. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, stealing Jesus. Joe Rogan's joke right here. I, she could delete the dick pics in her phone, and her phone would get her phone would get physically lighter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can imagine the messages you fucking get a day. Oh, oh my gosh, from, I'm in a. Just like, let me grab this. I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a DM of the day I want to share with you guys. You guys should. Make, oh, you should start. Uh, uh, a, you should start that as a thing. A DM of the day. Yeah. I, I don't know where I would post it because I Just think Facebook. it would get banned. Uh, oh yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Twitter yeah. then apparently Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> apparently Twitter. Oh, the one. you know I posted it on Twitter. She's such a sweetheart. She's probably got more clothes than I do. Oh, okay. So Sheen has dog clothes, and they're like a dollar a piece. So you know she's got like five million outfits. <laughs> and she's she's a cute little girl, so she fits mm-hmm. in all the outfits, don't you? All right, I found it. So this is um Sunday. I had a little water bowl for her. Sunday at seven forty one a.m. <clears throat> I have been jacking off hard to your pics lately, and I can't wait to get your cum soaked panties soon. How much <laughs> to buy some pics from you on here? Naked, of course. Not the OnlyFans style, but the hardcore ones. I want up and close spread shots with you opening up your pussy lips and on all fours sticking your asshole up so I can see your yummy dirty asshole, which I would love to taste after you take a shit. I oh, buy man. and send pics to my all phone. Right, it on went here. left. It went left. I've been zooming into your pretty face and looking into your eyes like I'm really fucking you. Happy Sunday. <laughs> 7 uh, 41 a.m. on God's day. Oh, he just woke up and, and was like, well, some of that well, he was no, he was still up from Friday Saturday night. Oh, he right. was some shitty asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's that's my inbox. I don't really I don't how, really, how many of those do you really have to try to wade through? Do you like do you like do the Bruce Almighty thing and try to go through as many of the prayers a day as you fucking can? No, so for everybody out there, you should know I saw your DM and I saw it probably immediately after you posted it. I'm always on my phone. If I didn't respond or open it, it's because I deleted that shit. Don't message me and say, hey, I'm not fucking responding. Yeah, right. Be come like, on. hey, I got money for you. Then I'm going to respond. Yeah, or you know? ding right. with the money sound. We, we're, we're coming right in. <laughs> exactly, right, right. exactly. Send tri- I say lead with the money. Send tribute. Yeah, send tribute first and we could talk all day. Yeah, because like. yeah, I mean, and and not to be too much of a smart, fucking time is money, man. You're making money. You got the yeah. shit to do. If, you, if you're really trying to blast into some sex worker, porn stars, fucking DMs, you better come with some cash. Man, the, like, <laughs> Only fans, like, you can make tons of money on it. Like, uh, Teo Ricci's one that makes, like, 90 grand a month on OnlyFans. Damn, dude. Fucking, how, do they, you got to pay taxes and shit all on that, like, all like you do normally, um, huh? Yeah, so OnlyFans only takes 20%, so that's why it's, like, everyone's favorite platform. They take right. the least. So I charge $20, so I get, like, $16 of every purchase. That's not bad. Um, and then that's ten ninety nine, and so I pay taxes as a small business owner on everything that I make. So you have to go through fucking all of your subscription based all of your shit that gets donated and do taxes on all that that sounds tedious as fuck. um yeah so that that <laughs> shit sucks i i still haven't done my taxes <laughs> we just say you've done your taxes well for the next well i did my taxes yeah. last year prepaid so i printed out all of my bank statements and i have to go through and color coat highlight each oh write-off God. like section and that's the it's like a stack that thick. that's what's the hard part and that's why i haven't done it there's no other reason other than i just keep looking at it and i'm like uh, I bet your write-offs are interesting, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, everything's a write-off. My gym yeah. membership's a write-off. Like, yeah, my, that's what I mean. You get your nails and hair. You get yeah. a write-off. Yeah, all that nails, shit. hairs, all lashes, clothes, my outfits, costumes, my yeah. traveling. Like, and that shit can't be cheap. That. I mean, how often are you having to keep, that? That and hairs, nails, and lashes, and all that shit up. Keep a month is probably a pretty penny. Forty-five dollars a week on my lashes. My nails are like hundred twenty every three weeks. My hair is a couple hundred every six weeks. <laughs> That's it's it's Jesus. maintenance, yeah. you know. But so when you first started, were you just like using your phone to take to to, to film it, or how? Yeah, yeah. I how just, did the progression of your technology go? Well, so I did most things on my phone, and I still do stuff on my phone um, for a, a really long time. Well, you know, I've got tripods and ring lights and stuff. Um, I now I have a GoPro, the Eleven Creator series, and I have a forehead mount and a chest mount and a tripod and like a handheld thing. Like 
every so you mm. can get whatever angle you want. Oh, that's um, badass. I also I have a videographer now that'll do my work as well when I film, so we can nice. get. I don't even have to worry about any of that, which is nice. Yeah, that's nice yeah. when the when the nerds are there, they they handle that business. Yeah, but yeah. No, I just I'm I'm good at being hot, but I don't understand the technology side that much. That's why I like the GoPro. It's pretty yeah. pretty easy to work. You click the button and it starts. And, going. and they have like on your phone software you can like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it. super simple. Yeah, and it's easy to upload shit too. Yeah, for that's, sure. That's what's nice about it. So speaking of travel, you were just in Miami for Exotica? Yes, I just got back from Exotica. It's a porn convention. You know, it's like Comic-Con, but for porn. Like, all your favorite porn stars come together. and Yeah, Big Will oh, just yeah. went to something like this here recently. He, 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 he went, to, he like went the, to the one in Vegas. Yeah. I think he went to, like, the Avians or X-Biz or something. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what yeah. it was called. But like, some adult film award show or something. Yeah, that'd be the Avians. That yep. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was, the award show. Yeah. That's yeah. why I was different. It wasn't like a Yeah, him and Jiggy Jag went out there. Yeah, but. that's in January in Vegas, I believe. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. That's what they did. I'll be in Nicaragua for that, so I won't go this year. Nice. Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, nice. that, that's just a vacation. Oh, okay. But um, Exotica was cool. So me and a couple of my friends, we got our own booth to present at Exotica. Um, yeah. You know, we had themes each day. So the first day was like pretty in pink, and it was my birthday the first day. So yeah, I was I like that. a pink princess. The second day was Dom Day. You know, we were in latex and leather and... The third day was like fairy, fay day, and we like decorated our booth each day, and we had our banners up, we were selling merch, doing like meet and greets. We had like this like spin the wheel, and it was like $5 to spin, and there was just like cute little things on there like kiss, or spank, or twerk, or slap, or spit on, or kick, <laughs> you know, cute little things. Yeah, nice. Um, so that was, that was great networking. Um, I got to meet a lot of new fans or people that had never heard of me before and got to hand out my business cards and um you get in to that widen way. Your market for sure yes and then not only that but i got to meet all of my like online pen pals like all of these people that i feel so close oh, to shit. and so connected to like right met on. through twitter and like i get to meet them in real life finally i'm like i felt like i was at summer camp meeting all my friends it was that, so fun that's nice. a lot of these conventions too they have like uh seminars or like shit you can learn like you can go to a yes yeah, so is I, that the same kind of thing there like yeah they yeah a, they had um like obviously there was all kinds of booths like booths like mine were porn stars but then they have like sex stores and like um bondage they have all these different booths like sex related booths and they have upstairs there was classes and uh, seminars like that um <laughs> It was it was really fun. It was a great experience, and um, I filmed six scenes while I was there. Oh, just nice. with other porn stars and other people that were there. Yep. Did and you set that up before time, or did it just kind of happen on the yeah, fly? Yeah. So most of them happened beforehand, um, but then of course there's always cancellations and things change up, and so I like got a couple more scenes after that. Um, in the industry, everybody is full panel tested, um, TTS clear certified with anal and oral swabs and it has to be within seven days of your shooting so um i got tested before got tested right before i left miami we're very safe so i mean so they're swabbing you guys' butts like all the time is what i'm hearing well so so <laughs> they give you the they give you the swab to do yourself uh, okay, but yeah so I'm, I'm sticking that dry swab up my own asshole which is a little <laughs> better it's a little rough I was about to say somebody's got a job. <laughs> yeah. no, they trust you to do it yourself. Thank so you. how awkward is it to do a sex scene with somebody you've never met before the first time? Um, so porn is not real sex porn. It's not. No, it's not. There's, there's no like the vibe and chemistry. It's very, it's very cut and dry. What you see is very vulgar is very, it's, you know, it's what yeah. you see, but between scenes like you go from like having hardcore sex to just pausing and like fixing your hair and makeup and having casual conversation like you guys weren't just like fucking like it's just like your homie it's like i you, mean it's like you're filming a movie yeah I mean, it's yeah really no, what you're doing. exactly it's and it's all about your angles and sounds and lighting and your faces and where you're looking so um Although it's sexual, it's not. It's not sexual. I don't know. It's it's work. It's, it's more business like. It's more professional. Is yeah. What you're well, it, anything you do for work takes a different tone. You know what I mean? Like uh, being a musician. The more you do it, the more you're just like, I don't even want to go play that fucking show tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I would way rather just sit here and binge Netflix. It's not. I, mean? I don't know. It's not weird because like everybody there is in the same industry, and like there'll be a camera guy and a sound guy in there as well, and. 
so for me, I mean, it's easier to do it as a woman. I'm like, shout out to the men out there doing porn because you got to get hard on command. That's what I was, I was just gotta, about to yeah. say. Boy, you, that's an you, awkward room to have a boner gotta, in. And you got to stay hard and they're up in your face and in your shit. And like, then like you pause scenes and then you got to get re hard. And then it's like, okay, now you need to come. And then like, you got to come like as a man, like you got to yeah. come on command. That's, dude, this, I mean, what is the, it seems like the women are way more known than the men are in the porn industry by like a million times, it feels like. <laughs> there's, there's different cultures. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I guess. But that sounds like a, gr- a handful of fucking talents there all together. Yeah. Keeping it hard and coming on command in a room full of a fucking bunch of production people. Jesus, that doesn't sound easy at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just like performing live for your band I don't know it doesn't feel awkward or weird like it's just what you're doing in the moment you're just performing oh, nice right. well, yeah, there's that um, but I mean I'm, I'm not we sh- practice sh- a lot I'm not, I'm I'm not a shy person <laughs> obviously like is, it, is the fluffer job a real job in the porn industry to keep men hard in the porn industry uh, yeah so like in orgies and stuff like I've seen um, famous porn stars like Rebel Rider and stuff post like hey I need a fluffer for this scene does anyone want to come help out and I've seen like BTS, like this girl's just back here, like jacking off and sucking dicks, so then they can go fuck <laughs> the girl that's getting gang banged, you know? Well, that makes sense. I mean, somebody's got to put in the pre work. I mean, right? For sure. I'm sure it helps. So, yeah. so how do you get hooked into doing, and like what kind of merch and stuff are you selling at a booth like this? And like, um, how do you get hooked into, like, did you just meet someone that does those? That is that X Erotica that'll let you come through your social media sites or like no a, you have to pay to be there the booth, oh, really? the booth cost oh, twenty two hundred dollars yeah oh, okay. I, it was yeah it it, it was, was an investment guys, it investment was an on, investment yes okay, um sense. spent a lot of money doing that so you got, you split it with the girl that you were doing it and you yeah guys there's two other girls yeah oh, okay, yeah so we split sense. all that um I was selling like cute little goodie bags that had um one of my stickers in it a magnet a vial of my spit with like a cute little note and a <laughs> Polaroid picture. With so, me. So how often do you get like the people want actual sh- stuff from you, like panties or your fingernails and shit? Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, dude, there's some weird dudes well, out yeah. there. A vial of spit is not much different than like, you know. I've seen girls shave their, like, um, use like a foot pumice and like give their like feet shavings away and stuff. You never oh, know. Wow. wow. I used to have a guy that would buy um, like during COVID. Um, you know those like doctors reusable like the little throwaway masks um, I would put them in my shoes and then I would sell him the mask and he would just be walking out in public with his mask on just sniffing my feet y'all would never know <laughs> wow <laughs> special um, requests man. I, I, I wouldn't say stuff like that happens often but um, I but love when it does I love when somebody comes up with like they got the weird they got the just oddest yeah. kink like that it's like dang how'd you figure if, if you approach <laughs> me and you ask me for something like odds are I'll probably do it for you like I have um, a guy that I sell farts to um, he sends me, he sends me farts. I send him farts. Do um, you open the jars outside or inside? he like he no like uh, on on the phone uh, with the not like actual jars of farts. Oh okay. Um, but he, sometimes we'll FaceTime and he'll do it live for me. I don't know. Me. I don't know why I thought you guys were mailing each other farts. <laughs> you know, like I'm here's a, an old butter tin. Like. I thought you just sh- fart in a mason jar and seal it up. I actually I sent him one. I sent him mm-hmm. one last night. I farted in my bath water and he liked the way that the fart rolled up my pussy lips, the bubbles. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. If you want to buy it, like I got it, you know, I can, I can do that for mm-hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you put a price on that one? Do you wait till it comes out or do you wait? Is it the market dictates the price? Man, it depends. <laughs> like if you message me a custom request, like tell me what you want, how long of a video you want, ECT, and I'll give you a price. And it's just whatever pops into my head, whatever it feels right at business. that moment. Right. Yeah, yeah what, whatever is going to make me want to do it at that moment, you know? That makes it, how am I feeling at this moment? Do I really want to fucking fart on a cake and then put it on my and, face? And, and typically, <laughs> they probably just go, okay. Yeah. Or they'll just be like, other girls will do that so much cheaper. And I'm like, okay, have a good day. Call them. Yeah, yeah call them. Blocked. I just blocked those guys. You yeah. don't have money. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you already proved we, it. We don't yeah. negotiate. Dude, yeah. I bet. I bet you see through that shit like instantly. Isn't I it? had one guy who was, like, wanted to buy a scat video, wanted me to like shit on like a potty pad, like a dog's potty pad. <laughs> and I was like, well, how much would you typically pay for something like that? Because I've never done scat, but like I would, like I, if that's what you want. I mean, the price got to be right. Like I, for like a solid. 250 i'd probably do it you know but he says 25 dollars. no 
I was like, I am not shitting on my floor for twenty five dollars. He's yeah. like, every other girl. I'm like, so why are you hitting me up? Like, yeah, you I got- don't even sell scat. Like, why are you hitting me up? Oh like, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you didn't search scat and got my name. You don't fucking come to me with this. <laughs> That's outside my realm, man. Yeah. That's outside the box. So if, if I already maybe had the video made, like <laughs> you could yeah, easily right. you could easily Recycle. do a podcast yeah. called this one guy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Just tell stories. <laughs> you, I mean, you could easily do that show every fucking week. This one guy, I had this one guy. <laughs> <laughs> this one guy. So yeah, then that's where the DM of the week comes in. Uh, how, how often yeah, do females Andre. hit you up? I mean, there's got to be some of that too, right? Um, or not as much? Not as much. I, I don't really. I've had a few uh, female followers or like home girls that I know or most of the time if a female follows me she's also a content creator and um, she, I've done this before as well when I was growing and learning I would follow large creators and see what they're posting and how they run their account yeah, and yeah, that's, that's, how, good, that's how you learn that's how you ideas learn. and stuff yeah, yeah, for I, sure. I have people hit me up all the time and they like ask me for advice and stuff and I'll give you as solid advice as I can do, but like, I can't do it for you. I'm yeah. like, if you want to figure right. it out, like go out and do it. Like you got to research, you got to put the work in. And, and first and foremost, like she said, and the same thing in this business is create content. People, you have to be relevant. Yeah. You have to yeah. stay relevant all yeah. the time, all the time. That's why we're back. I take here a week today. long hiatus and I don't post. and I lose 20 followers, you know? Yeah, like, it is. People shit. lose interest like a motherfucker. Just real quick. I mean, you got to keep posting. And then a lot of the times, like people will subscribe, they'll see your content and then they're good. Like it's hard keeping them engaged oh, that's yeah, where yeah. you have to do collabs and work with people like once you get to a certain point in the industry like you can only dildo yourself so many times before it gets old yeah exactly mm-hmm. you got to put some fresh faces to your content and stuff because i see well, you, you got to be the fresh face on other people's content yeah too. See, yeah, yeah. The, the collabs are a huge thing like because i i perform with these high caliber artists and they post me on their pages and everyone's like who's that you know and that's it's a great way to get a following. Yeah, yeah I mean that's got to be. It. I mean that's just that's how we work with interviews. I mean that's the same, 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 same game. Yeah, I mean whenever you do like mainstream actual porn that's not collabing, like it's like a thousand dollars industry standard for your scene, and you get paid for that scene. You don't own the rights to the video. You can't post it. That company owns it. Wait, so at this point in your career, would you start trying to do something like that, or would you just stay yeah, on your yeah, own? Yeah, no, I definitely have done paid scenes and stuff before as well, which um, that's great to be able to work with these companies, and I'm self-booking, so I say who, what, where, when, why. Like, if you hit me up, if I'm interested, then yeah, if we can make that work. But um, I do, the paid scenes are great to like get out there and meet people, and also, them posting you is nice because like they'll tag your name, and so that's like a famous platform. So, is there like is there like what are some of the famous like porn studios that people want to work with? I don't know. Is there like oh god, like so big big time ones? I mean, I don't know. I mean, like Dog Fart or um, Freak Mob or Woe Boys or um, oh god, there's nice. they're so there's so, so many. yeah yeah. There's, there's, there's so, there's, there's so many. Yeah. So, I mean, do, so when you have to do those scenes, you have to go to where their studios and stuff are. Yeah, that'd be so. A lot of the studios are like in L.A. or Vegas or Van Jersey Nuys, or like, Miami. Like they're in the bigger cities. And you were telling us you're going to get to go to New Jersey here. What's going on with that? Yes. Um. So the next Exotica is in New Jersey, and a really good friend of mine lives in Jersey, and so we're going to get another Airbnb and do a content house like we did in Miami. Um. I was told the New Jersey one is the biggest Exotica, and like. I'm not going to have a booth this time. I'm going to get a walk around and like meet people and stuff. Um, Do a little more networking instead of being stuck there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, And I plan on booking some pretty high caliber scenes while I'm there, which will be nice. So you guys rent an Airbnb. uh, So you guys rent an Airbnb while you're there so you can do content at the, at the place and still post and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's instead of getting like a hotel room and stuff, we'll get a 10, 12 person Airbnb, like a nice, like scenic mansion type thing, you know? So and that even and that's cool because it gives you new scenes for your content. Yeah, yeah, we film in different rooms yeah, in the house new, and stuff. Yeah, it gives you new backgrounds and shit. That's um, a fucking great idea. Oh, yeah. Whenever we were in Miami, my friends were filming in the kitchen. They were doing like a kitchen scene. My friend um, Femalian and the Kinker Bell. It was like a lesbian cooking scene. Um, Kink comes in and she's like, "I'm hungry. What's there to eat?" And uh, Femalian's like. 
well, it's Taco Tuesday, you know, and like <laughs> spreads it open. <laughs> and um, we're all of us are just in the living room. There's like 10 of us just sitting in the living room, just watching this happen. <laughs> and then um, my friend uh, Wreck It Ralph, he like walks into the background and like starts making a taco and looks and he's like, nice and like walks out <laughs> like I, I love that shit like I love the environment I love the people I love being so open and accepted like you can sit on the couch naked and cuddled up with your friends and it's not sexual like we're all just human beings to each other and I think that's in this experience what people forget I'm now like this like sexual entity like I'm like an anomaly to people and like people will forget that I'm like this whole ass regular person. I'm like, I do porn, but I'm just like such a normal person on my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> like people think I'm so sexually yeah. charged or crazy. And I'm like, I literally like nap all day and go yeah. to the gym so and take so baths. Don't, don't come out of there with that crazy energy while she's just trying to have a meal somewhere, guys. So calm down. <laughs> <laughs> just at least don't like ask to like lick my dirty asshole or something, you know? Yeah, send it in a, send <laughs> yeah. it in a DM so we can block it later. <laughs> uh, let's actually send me DMs like that, but with money. Yeah. <laughs> That way we can read them on the air. Give me, the, give me something to post. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm, tell, I'm telling you, you should start. Like people a, people sometimes get so offended or like, how do you deal with your DMs or how do you deal with... And I'm like, it's entertaining to me. It's so funny. Like, I don't get a lot of hate, like, at all. But when I do, it's funny to me. Yeah, like, I'm sure most of it's positive for the most part. I'm sure some of them are like, you can't believe you would do this, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I mean, if anyone is saying anything about me, they don't. They wouldn't say it to my face. Like, right. I've never heard anything bad. You can't be mean to somebody that's not mean to you. Like, most people are just like, I'm so happy for you that you live so freely and, like, live your best life and, like, you're unapologetically yourself. And I'm like... Yeah, so that's, that's how everybody should be like, live your life. So, are you still like doing photo shoots and stuff, or are you still just sticking with? Are you still just doing porn and stuff? Right yeah, now? yeah, I do photo shoots. Um, more for fun. We did a couple of photo shoots uh, while we were in Miami as well. Um, like a beach photo shoot and stuff. Nice. That's um, that for me is hard creativity wise because I don't want to shoot the same shoot over and over. I like to like find like new ideas and things to post. So that so that gets kind of tedious having to go just stand in front of waterfalls and shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, like if, if we have like a cool right, right, right. scene, like a cooler, different scene, mm. something that I haven't done, I like to do like new and interesting things. I don't want to do lingerie on a bed 12 times. Yeah. Like, I can't, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of where you start. Oh, goody, a bubble bath. With my hand. Yeah. Like, <laughs> So how much how much in um in like when you're doing scenes and stuff is there directors for this stuff? Like um so most of the time um we do gonzo style. It's called gonzo style where you just kind of like you start. There's no like forehand like no storyline or plot. Um a lot of the scenes will just be gonzo beforehand you um, fill out paperwork, um, we exchange IDs, take pictures, we fill out all of our information. There's like a website and app where I keep all of this for every shoot, the release forms. Um, we show each other our tests and then we kind of talk about what we want to do like as, as a... As your show bar yeah. partner. I mean, yeah. Let's go, let's call it a show. Kind of out, yeah. outline how do, you, how do you want to start this, you know? And then um, you just, you'll start in a position and then like, you pause and like you get to a different angle and you reset up the cameras and then you start going again because you want to make sure you get all the angles and different shots so that when it's like it sounds like you gotta be in good shape for this shit because pause and all this work this sounds like well, well, well it sounds like you guys are mainly self-produced like you guys are doing a lot of this shit yourself in groups you know yeah yeah i mean well it costs money to have to hire a director yeah, and a exactly. videographer mm -hmm. and the whole thing yeah i get it yeah i mean yeah, i get it <laughs> yeah, with, with paid scenes yeah. and stuff, obviously um, the director is going to tell you what they want and whatnot, and so you go based off of what they're doing. So that, that's probably more of the bigger studios. So, so Gonzo styles like no story. What's this, what's a porn with like the have this old like story movie part the pizza it. man yeah, or yeah, yeah exactly I, uh, <laughs> and i wonder when that changed because i remember like porn growing up had like a whole like lead in and out and yeah. story well all to but it. yeah but how many times have you skipped through that all of who it. watches that who no, watches yeah, that? some backstory? weirdo does. i don't need a backstory i need a certain position at a certain angle zoomed in <laughs> yeah. 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 i like keep fast forward i'm like that's the one that's yep. the part that, yeah that's the one scene i did i think the internet i need this 45 I think, seconds like, right here free internet <laughs> streaming probably killed this 
stories and porn. And well, I mean, four hour <laughs> fucking VHS tapes. <laughs> With, it's the, like, with come the music, on, the romantic music going oh, in the background yeah, the whole time. Yeah, the just... license free. <laughs> oh, yeah, the brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the license free fucking. That's that's not my style phone. personally. But... No, and you had to leave, uh, people were leaving their fucking cassette stuck at the one part that they liked and just rewinding and watching yeah. that part over yep. and over again. That sounds tedious as fuck. <laughs> the internet fucking killed that for sure. I bet. Better video quality. So Get right you, to the point. Yeah. So have you, is, was there anybody that you were ever hoping didn't see your porn or you just didn't care from the very beginning? Was there not a grandma out there? You were like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't tell grandma. Um, so I have, I do have my grandparents blocked on Facebook and social media and stuff. Um, my grandma knows that I do modeling and she sees like the stuff I post online, like my lingerie stuff. Um, she thinks that I get paid for that. So yeah. we'll let her think that. Yeah, my, well, yeah, well, she don't have to know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, my parents are fully aware. Whenever I got on Pornhub, I messaged my brother and my dad and I said, Hey, I'm posting on Pornhub. You should probably not get on there. <laughs> like you might right, see right. it like I've had like three friends like screenshot their phone screens and be like look you're on the front page of Pornhub and I'm like hey nice. that's me nice do they hit you up when they tell you that they're putting you on the front page of that shit uh, no it's just it's just um, like it cycles through videos and stuff oh, it's okay. always like random oh I gotcha so it just popped up on like their feed yeah it just popped up in their feed I'm like <laughs> hell yeah I love that <laughs> yeah nice <laughs> Every once in a while, I love like when I'm, I will obviously know a lot of people in porn. And so I'll be like scrolling and I see my friends. I'm like, that's my friend. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Hey, I know, I know them. I recognize that ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you start, was there a local, was there like a big local porn scene in Wichita for, have you, or have you created it or like? Um, no. So me and um, Famalian, Famalian69, uh, you can search her. She, and I were probably like the first people in Wichita, like that were big content creators. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I couldn't name another porn star from Wichita other than you here, for the most part. I'm I've, sure you would know. I've more heard. Than I've heard that there are actual porn stars, but I I couldn't name them either. But me and her, we got together to do like a content night. She posted that she was doing a girls' night, and wanted to do content for OnlyFans girls. And so that was the first time I met her, and there was a few other girls there as well. And um, so that's kind of how we got started, and that's how my collab started as well, just locally and stuff. So there wasn't, like, probably a huge porn community here in Wichita, really? No, we were we were some of the first girls on the platform before it blew up. You kind of opened the door, hopefully, for anybody else who wanted to do that content creation here as well. Yeah, no, I've definitely had a lot of people reach out and, like, want to know how they get to get started or wanting to, like, ask questions and stuff. And, like, I'm not a gatekeeper. Like, I'm not going to hold your hand through it, but, like, I'll tell you what I know. And like, same, same thing with us. People ask us about podcasts. Like, I'll give you all the ideas in forever, but if you want to do it, you know, you still got to do it. Yeah, like, I'm not going <laughs> to hold your hand through it and walk you through it. Yeah, because if you want it bad enough, you'll fucking do it. I mean, but I got we got a little bit of advice for you if you need it or whatever. Yeah, I had a, a guy hit me up yesterday, and he was like, hey, my girlfriend wants to get into OnlyFans. She can't um, post on her social medias or show her face because of her job. She's like... How how would I get started and how would we do that? And I'm like, I don't. It's gonna I don't be really know. hard. I was yeah. like, Wear I was like, I, that's not how that's not how I run my shit. Like, that, uh, yeah, that you're the wrong person to ask. I, you, I, I, you're I you're all out in the front. Yeah, yeah I'm like, I, that's why I do well. I'm like, I don't know how you would go about it. Like, how are people gonna find you? Like, yeah, you're you're faceless. You're nameless. Like, you have no base crowd to start off of. Like, where are you gonna pull people in from? Like, I don't. You better, be, you, buy be a, you better hard. get a real fancy mask. There's so there's so yeah, many right. people out there showing their face and everything else. Like people subscribe to me because of that personal personal connection they feel to me. The girl, you're cool, you're the cool girls from too. high school, they're um, my dad's friends, or you know, like literally, like so. Everybody at this point, I've come to the conclusion that everybody's just seen my asshole, you know, and that's cool. I, yeah, it's I mean, not my nudity that makes me uncomfortable; it's other people's nudity. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a professional at it. Our nudity is yeah. not as, not yeah, as I professional. Don't, I don't yeah. care. I don't care if y'all want to look at me. I but I just don't want to see you guys. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have people all the time want to video chat and FaceTime, and I don't do live calls. I don't want to see the other side of it. I'm good. Like, you don't know what you're going to open that call up to. Yeah, that I, don't, be, yeah. I don't want to open sure. it up and watch you do this for 20 minutes. I'm oh, good. I'm so good. That poor guy. I don't 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know how you would try to get out into the content business by not being able to show your face and name. Can you imagine? I was trying to do a podcast with the no yeah. one and no one show. <laughs> we mask our voices. Yeah, like fucking the on. Stephen Hawking show. That's why she's successful because, like she says, she creates a she creates a a, a communication and a community with her well, I, with I, her fans. I think that's what a good porn star does is they have a. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta trick these yeah. assholes into thinking they might maybe one day get a, get a lick your butt. Well, <laughs> so and that's one thing I I very much set that line. I've never had like creepers or stalkers or anyone like push my boundaries like that because Good. I'm very cut and dry. Like I'm not going to be your fantasy or pretend that I want you or like, oh, good, no, good. fuck you, pay me, buy my content, enjoy my content. I'm not going to sit there and text yeah. you or put like, yeah, I'm not going to lead you on. There's, that's, there's that's, things, that's a way to keep yourself out of trouble too. Yeah. Think, there's girl. things called girlfriend experience where like guys will oh, like yep. pay you to like pretend to be their girlfriend, like talk to them and stuff like that. And like, I will occasionally do that, but that's it's too much energy for me. I am not a fake person. Like yeah, that's that I'm, just, I'm real. real. Like I can't. Like it's weird to me. It makes me feel cringy. Like I can't do that. And that's why I've had so many people ask, like, why don't you strip? Because I don't want that. I'm not trying to sit on your grandpa's dick and grind on. Like I'm good. Yeah. I'm so good with the other side. Like <laughs> I'm in my own little world in my house, and I'm like, yes, this is nice. Yeah, buy it's my shit. Me. Buy it's my shit. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So are you, as you move forward, are you going to start doing more and more stuff with other people or keep doing your stuff by yourself or what's your plans? Yeah, no, I would love to um, be able to fly out regularly and do more shoots. Like at least once a month, I would love to fly out to bigger cities and film like five, six scenes. That would be How, what's keep, ideal. What's keeping you here? What, why are you thinking about moving in ever? Or are you going to keep um, kicking around Wichita or what? Well, I mean, financially thus far, um, there's no place to live cheaper than Wichita, and like, and it's in the middle of everything. You can fly to like New York and LA. It is, kinda, for it is essentially the same located dime. for well, sure. And so I have two dogs and two cats. One of my dogs is 130 pounds. I need a house with. You got a rot. Yeah, you got a Rottweiler. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I have a 130 one. pound man dog in my house. Like, so I need a, a house with a yard and stuff. And yeah, that's not to really feasible to, in LA. And to be able Vegas to. And shit afford stuff like that and like the economy honestly the economy has impacted things so much like mm. the price of everything's expensive everybody's broke and you gotta think like when you're broke and you don't have money for extra shit what's the extras that's your porn addiction and shit like mm -hmm. so I mean I'm feeling it like y'all need get y'all need get it together and start paying my fucking bills so I can travel <laughs> yeah <laughs> no shit hit me up if you uh, wanna pay for my flights <laughs> Yeah, I bet you. I'll give you all my content for free. I'll give you all my full length videos. Buy, buy my <laughs> flights, bro. Yeah, right. So, yeah, or we can get a sponsor from Southwest. Maybe she needs a sponsor from Southwest. There you go. Right? There you go. <laughs> Fucking sponsors just pay for our shit. That's what we want more than anything. I would love to. Yeah, no, I would love to move out of here someday. I mean, I think we all dream of leaving our hometown someday. But honestly, like this I don't is hate how it. I don't hate it here. I have really great yeah. friends and family here. Me too. Um, it's cheap. I don't. I don't mind it. I. I do want to live somewhere more scenic. I would love to have water or mountains or somewhere because I don't drink. I don't party. I don't go out. I would love to be able to like exist out in nature and go do things. I'd, and, I'd like to live in Colorado. But Colorado you want to know my crazy. retirement plan? My retirement plan straight up? Let me hear it. Build this studio up big enough. You know, fix the house up nice enough. Sell all that shit. Get a couple like hundred grand. Montana or something? The Philippines. Oh, fucking A. All right. The oh, yeah. Philippines. You can live you can there live dirt like cheap. Kid. Yeah. And it's like beautiful. The food is amazing. I'm and sorry. I, and and I'm going to open up uh, an American hamburger stand. Oh yeah, that's what I'm. Can we do. podcast there? <laughs> yeah, from the from the burger stand. Yeah, from the burger stand. Uh, yeah, I'm into you know it. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah, like an American hamburger stand. Is that like the rock and roll themed? Do they need they need one there? It reminds me of the show. I just like, think it would work. Fuck, good. That's delicious. Oh God, tell us about what is what is that guy's name? Action Bronson. Have you seen his show? I know show? Who Action Bronson is. So Action know Bronson show. has a show on Hulu called Fuck That's Delicious. Oh, really? And it's like while he's on tour traveling, they go to like all these, like they'll be in a major city and they'll hear about this like really good food joint. It might be high scale or it might be like it a might shack be on the side shack. of the yeah. road, but it's like the best food. And like he just goes to all these places and they get high as fuck and just order everything on the menu. <laughs> that's and what like we're trying to do. And they just like vlog it. And I'm like, I'm like that's goals right there. We're trying, oh, yeah. to, we're trying to do a pregame show in town with food trucks and with. Uh, business owners and restaurants and shit. We've done a couple of them. We had Forge ICT come in and we've had all the girls from Munchapotamus down at uh, Shamrock. We love doing those food shows. So we, we should hit up uh, um, Bees. Bees. Oh, uh, yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah, we will. We owe them anyways. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, 
B's uh, was it B. B's B food truck was one of the ones. Big the food, B's beef. Big I think. B's yeah. beef. They were like they're like literally a, a Bob's Burgers food truck. There's there's mom and dad and two kids. The whole working. families in there. I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, and they have this they have really uh, yellow and blue bright school bus that they serve hamburgers out of, and their hamburgers are fucking bomb. There, yeah. we worked with them a little bit over the weekend. So, but yeah, we're gonna get them to pull their food truck out here. Yeah, we'll that'd do be a dope. Podcast, that'd be podcast awesome. with them. We'll figure that shit out for sure. All right. So uh, before we kick out of here, why don't you give us all your platforms where they can get all your content, where they can send you money, and all that shit. Give them all that rundown. All right. So I got one link for you. Have my own website, my own yeah. domain. It's alexboo.com. A L E X X X B O O dot com alexboo.com you can find any link in the entire world there nice so it's, it's got all your it's got all your platforms we can get right to yeah it's got all of my social easy. yeah <laughs> it's got all of my social media it's got all of my paid pages it's got all of my free pages um it's got my amazon wish list all my money links like anything you could ever need so did you uh what did Boo inspire you to come up with all the Alex Boo? Uh, no, so creations? that's why that's why I named her Boo. Okay, yeah, give, I us was, the, give us the story there. I made my my name was Alex Boo, like Alex the Three X's Boo. That was like what I made my name when I started all my platforms. And oh, okay. so when I got her, I was like, I should name her Boo. So like you know, like the YouTuber Jenna Jenna Marbles. Sounds familiar. She, she's like this blonde girl that has like this a little Italian greyhound. She used to make funny videos like back when I was in high school. Uh, yeah, I she, loved her. She sounds familiar. But um, her dog's name was Marbles. So I was like, Jenna Marbles said, I'm going to be Alex Boo. Yeah. You know? yeah. Nice. And it works. There's, there's, it works not like one, there's not one without the other. Like she's always with me somewhere. <laughs> um, it's actually funny. So you got like a bunch of different carrying cases and purses and shit for her. I can yeah, she's imagine. got two different purses. Um, she's got like a bucket that'll like front sit on me and she's got like a little like harness, like a baby wearing well, harness. And she follows you really good. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, she's off leash trained. Um, she she lives and breathes for me. Like I'm her entire world and everyone's like, she's so calm. She's so chill. Let me leave this room. She will freak the fuck out. She'll freak out. <laughs> oh, really? If you guys I'm, aren't together? I'm her emotional support human. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Boo's world. I'm just living in it at this point. Oh, you guys are like the sweetest thing running around. Yeah, uh, see, and she's the perfect icebreaker too because like I'm like a friendly person, but I'm not outgoing. Like unless you talk to me, I'm probably not going to talk to you. And so everybody has to talk to me because of her. So it kind of brings right. in and helps you out a little bit. Yeah, it's a little yeah, icebreaker. exactly. She's she's my conversation starter. Nice. Well, don't steal Alex's idea because she's already got the she's already got the coolest. Everybody, stuff. I had her at the <laughs> porn convention. I had her sitting on the table like this, and um. All of the other people with booths around me, they're like, that's a genius marketing idea because everybody had yeah. to come over to yeah. our booth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it worked for us. I was just trying to get her on that. We were we were just trying to get the dog on there. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> the girl with the dog, really. Like, it's Boo's world. We're just living in it. Um, no, God, there's so there was like three times at Exotica, like me and my friends have been like editing our videos and we'll like screenshot still shots and it's Boo in the corner. We're like, gotta yeah. edit that out. Like, <laughs> or it's bestiality, but Boo's just always in the oh, corner really? of everything. Oh, no. oh really? Yeah. So if there's a dog even in the clip, it's yeah. bestiality? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, so, so you can really watch that, it. Is that a whole different license you gotta have or some shit? No, it's just that's not allowed. Just illegal, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it completely illegal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? you so you can't fuck a donkey or any of that shit anymore? I'm not <laughs> legally. I mean, it's probably still out there. Yeah, yeah. So they're cracking down. There's like so there's like states like like Utah and stuff that they ban Pornhub. You can't even access shit there. What? Yeah, the, like, there's certain states that there's are like poor really, Mormons. They're like cracking right, down on the laws is. hardcore on porn and oh, that's whack. Um, which it's it's a good and a bad thing. Like um, you have to tag all of your partners now and beforehand. Like people were just posting stuff or like posting other people's videos and stealing videos and stuff. Yeah, well, that, that's probably yeah. those laws help you guys out as yeah, content creators. Yeah, which is nice. And I know it helped with like the sex trafficking and oh. like the rape and stuff, yeah. all those things. Yeah, so that, that that is a big deal. Yeah, which is so it's it's convenient and that's why we all fill out paperwork and everything now yeah because if you guys are the only ones that are up and up you, in the field a little bit who do you guys submit all this paperwork to is there like a fucking porn um, whenever you're uploading your videos it'll like ask for their information and stuff and oh, you'll okay. put it in just depending on what website it is huh. sometimes they'll just like ask for a picture of their id or like them holding their id sometimes the back of their id um, just whatever information they want. Huh. Um, well, that's good. Which it's really nice if it's another content creator. It's so much easier. Like if it's another porn person because you can just type their username and tag. No, oh, that makes sense. Because yeah. well, they're already registered. All the info's there. <laughs> Big stretch. 
And I have to give you a little bit of credit because you were the one who uh, first turned me on to Sir Charles here in town. So yes. I do appreciate yeah. no, that. No, one of my best friends. I yeah, love him. I would give a shout out to Sir Charles while we're here. But uh, yeah, uh, I was looking for local hip hop artists. She hit me up and sent me a couple songs. I was like, fuck yeah. And that was He's so good. He's so yeah. talented. I yeah. love him. Yeah. yeah. I definitely can't wait to get out and see I got to see the whole collective band together. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. that. Oh my gosh. That they're they're that, great. That, that's the experience. Yeah, we yeah. Gotta, we gotta, next time that happens, let's try to get out there and see Yeah, that. for sure. For sure. Well, all right. Uh, wrapping up uh, episode 67 with Alex and Lane giving us all the fucking 411 on the porn industry. I, was, I didn't know any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, she's got that nail. Hit us with one more of those. Huh? <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Again, there's the sound bite right, right there. there. I know. Yeah. That's how we open the show. Whoa. I want a button that does, just does that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I still, I am still waiting for my fucking sound pad. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the sound pad. And that would be a great, that would be a great button on that sound pad. But again, uh, thanks to all our sponsors. Get with uh, Alex, A L X, A L E X X, boo.com. Three X's. Three X's. Did I say three or two? Shit, I don't know. It's been a long week. <laughs> it'll, it'll be up on the... Yeah, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah. Click click on the shit and send us money. And don't Read send, it. Don't listen yes. to them. Yeah. Man. All right. Take it All right. easy, guys. Love you. The Aaron Austin Show is brought to you by Hotels, Wichita by EB, Kirby's Beer Store, Party Rockers ICT, and Sacred Leaf.